Welcome to AI and Marketing, your daily news update curated by Stan Bertello and generated by AI. Today is Wednesday, May 8th. Here is what we are covering. OpenAI has joined the Coalition for Content Provenance and Authenticity Steering Committee, a group focused on tackling the issue of deepfakes and their impact on democracy. As elections across the globe approach, tech companies like Meta, Google and TikTok are tasked with monitoring potentially misleading synthetic media created by generative artificial intelligence. OpenAI is developing tools to identify synthetic media, potentially utilizing metadata, watermarks, fingerprinting, and the power of a deepfake detector to maintain transparency and authenticity. Red Hat has introduced Red Hat Enterprise Linux AI, Rail AI, a platform for developing and running open source language models, and InstructLab, a project designed to enable experts to augment AI models with their knowledge. These initiatives were unveiled at the Red Hat Summit 2024 to bring the power of generative AI to enterprise. Rail AI maintains an open source approach and differentiates itself through a hybrid capability, hardware optimization, and the allowance for customers to retain their own IP. InstructLab's purpose, meanwhile, is to improve models through community contributions in a cost-effective manner consistently. Meta has just released a fresh set of tools that advertisers can leverage to create striking marketing materials. Powered by artificial intelligence, businesses can feed in an image of their products and let the AI generate new backgrounds, expand the image to fit varying sizes, and even customize content using text prompts. But that's not all. It's also unveiling new text generation features for crafting ad headlines and main ad copy with the intention to mimic the distinctive tones and voices of different businesses, all thanks to their Llama 3 language model. But hang on, doesn't this sudden surge in AI spending and focus, estimated to top $40 billion by year's end, have investors jittery, with some speculating about the profitability of this technology? Well, as Mudu Sudakar, CEO of AI company Isera comments, Miss out on AI, and it could spell disaster for tech giants like Microsoft, Google, Meta or Amazon. So listeners, the AI investment race seems set to continue unabated. Probably no relations to AI, but live experiences are booming with gens. Retail purchases are declining as consumers increasingly prioritize live event experiences, according to online ticket resale marketplace Vivid Seats' latest earnings results. Despite tightened budgets and economic pressures, the company has reported a 20% rise in gross order value in Q1, and a growing trend of younger consumers spending larger proportions of their income on leisure and entertainment. Meanwhile, companies in the retail sector, like Mattel, are expecting declines due to this significant shift in consumer buying behaviors towards experiences and services. TikTok and its parent company ByteDance have filed a lawsuit against the US government, arguing that a new law requiring its sale or a potential ban infringes on users' First Amendment rights. They stress that adhering to the 270-day deadline set for divestiture is impossible, given the complexities involved, including Beijing's refusal to sell a critical feature that powers TikTok in the US. The law marks the first time that a single internet platform has been subjected to a countrywide ban risking the shutdown of TikTok by January 2025. This legal battle is expected to reach the Supreme Court, pitting national security concerns against the potential violation of free speech rights of its users and damaging small businesses reliant on the platform. Thank you for tuning in to AI and Marketing. If you want to learn more, check out the episode description. Be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast platform so you never miss an episode. Contact us to learn how to launch your own AI-generated podcast at nitromarketing.com. That's N-Y-T-R-O marketing.com. See you tomorrow for more AI and tech news.